So aggressive towards the other fish. And like, look at them. The Calvus aren't normally like this, guys. But rest assured, they are a peaceful cichlid, and I know it doesn't look like it right now. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be taking a look at another surprising spawn that I've had in the fish room this week. So let's just get straight into this week's video. Okay guys, so my calvers have not stopped fighting. Uh, this is about a week and a half in. And you can see, that is my, I'm pretty sure it's my calvers male. And this is, I'm pretty sure the female. And you can see, pretty much her lip has almost been torn off. These guys have not stopped fighting. Uh, very, very surprised by that. I just, I just can't believe how much they've been fighting. And as, like I said when I moved them in this video, the fighting would stop in about uh, 24 hours, I expected. Um, and I said to you guys that I put this shell in here in this position because last time, look at them. Last time I had the shell in here, they spawned in that shell in the exact same position uh, you see here in the aquarium. And because they keep fighting, I was considering taking the shell out. The female has been so aggressively defending this territory, she has not stopped attacking that male, and that male is really aggressive. Um, and she's been overpowering him, which has been surprising. Uh, I think it's mainly because of her size. Um, and she's lost pretty much the top of her lip from the fighting. So because of that, I thought, yep, today, uh, she's just basically defending this shell because her instinct from la the last spawn was to defend the shell. She must remember that the shell was in this exact position and that they're still frying it and that she has to protect the fry from the rest of the fish in the fish room. And I was sure there was no fry in it. The day after I put the fish in here, she was acting so aggressive towards the other fish. And I'm like, look at them. The calvus aren't normally like this, guys. Uh, rest assured, they are a peaceful cichlid, and I know it doesn't look like it right now. Um, so I thought, okay, I need to stop the aggression. She's protecting nothing in the shell. I'll, I'll take the shell out, and everything will be fine in the aquarium. Boy, was I wrong. I've gone to pick the shell up, literally gone to pick the shell up. I started emptying out all the sand from uh, the shell, and then fry started to come out. Now, I've never seen Calvus Fry in the shell before. And you can see them there beating away. And none of the actual fry came out of the shell. They were almost out and I managed to get them back into the shell. And it all makes sense now as to why these guys are fighting constantly. And this girl is defending the shell so much. And I just can't believe they spawned on the day I put them in here. Honestly, it was a day. They were in here pretty much just for the one day. And the aggression really started to kick off. So, look at them. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't... I don't have many tanks left. I could pop her in a tank uh, by herself with the shell. And I think I will do that actually. Uh, but I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. I'll get her in the shell, move her with the shell into another aquarium and let her raise the fry now. Because this fighting can't keep going on like this, this is mental. Uh, but I honestly didn't know that they had fry, I didn't expect them to spawn so soon. Um, uh, within a day of having them in the aquarium they had spawned, because this aggression has not stopped since I put them in the aquarium. Uh, and they were fine in the two footed, you know, in the, in the grow out tanks that I normally have fry growing out in, they were fine in those. Uh, but obviously, uh, they've spawned and I need to do something now. So, uh, yeah, I've got to... I just, I just can't believe this. So what I'm going to do, actually, is just turn the light off off this tank, let them settle down, uh, because all that, all those white marks on her lips right now have been uh, since I've turned the light on. So, uh, she was... They had healed overnight, and uh, yeah, they're, they're back. So these guys are just relentless. They just do not stop. So, look at this little guy. Just staying well and truly out of all the trouble. <laughs> so yeah guys, I'll have to prepare some tanks and move the shell out with her in it. And then, uh, yeah, the, the fighting will stop. I can't believe how well that worked though. I said to you guys in that video, I'm gonna put the shell in the exact same spot uh, as it was before to see if they would spawn. 
Uh, if that would indicate to the female, that's where you spawned last time. Spawn here again. Yeah. Within the day. Within the day. Crazy. I thought it'd be about a month. But uh, obviously not. And I also did consider that she may have spawned. Her, her, her gut is extremely hollow. I had a feeling maybe she had spawned, but I really didn't believe it. I thought maybe she had, just hasn't been eating well. But it really does explain everything. The, the aggressive behaviour... And um, obviously, she's just spawned, so she doesn't have eggs in her belly anymore, so that's why she looks uh, smaller. So that explains that uh, hollow, the hollow belly. Uh, but I really just thought she was just going on instinct and thinking that there was still fry in the shell. Uh, that's, that's what I thought. I, I really just thought that she thought there was fry in the shell still from the previous spawn, and her instinct was just overriding any other thought that she had. But I just thought that she has seen the shell again and thought that there were fries still in the aquarium and her instinct just switched on and uh, she went from peaceful to aggro in 2.5 seconds. Uh, but yeah, they actually did spawn, so <laughs> uh, I'm just shocked. But anyway, really happy about that. There were some fry near the mouth of the shell when I, um, when I put the shell back down. She scooped them up, spat them back deeper into the shell. Uh, so really well and surely looking after her fry. But that was the first time I've seen the Calvus fry uh, with eggs still. Uh, never seen them uh, with eggs. Normally when I see Calvus fry, they're coming out of the shell and they are free swimming. Uh, but yeah, first time ever that I've seen Calvus fry with eggs still attached. So we'll see if we can still see them. Yeah, you can still kind of see them there. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Amazing. Anyway, I'll stop filming, turn this light off, and let the guys rest. Okay, guys, it's been a couple days now, and I've had to move a lot of fish around the fish room, and you'll see those videos in the next few weeks and what I did. Uh, but now you can see there is no shell uh, in this tank anymore. The aggression was just crazy. Uh, the fights just kept going on, and um, I was ended up having the light off on this tank because that, that, that was kind of suppressing their aggression. Whenever I turn the light on, that would start up again. So I managed to uh, get the female to go into the shell and scoot the shell out with her and the fry in it. And this is her tank now. I don't want to freak her out, she's very aggressive. Like I can just put my hand in front of the tank and she'll try and attack it. Uh, you can see her mouth, how torn up it is. But now she'll be able to relax a bit. See, she doesn't even like me this close. Uh, so I'm not going to film for too long. I put a layer of pull filter sand in this tank and uh, some tiny little caves from Grey Slate. Made from Grey Slate, and this tank is clean and ready to go. And uh, you can see the fry, one fry just came out of the shell as I was putting the shell in the tank with her in it. And uh, yeah, they are coming free swimming, although they do have uh, eggs, uh, they do have their yolk sac still. And I just noticed there's a fry underneath, underneath the shell. I'm not going to get too close, but you can see it right there. It's head stuck to the bottom of the shell. It's fine there. They've got a little sticky membrane on the top of their head when they're this young. And um, if the female sees that baby, she'll scoop it, out with a, scoop it up with her mouth and pop it back in the shell. So uh, yeah, this tank is ready for them now. When the fry do come out of the shell, the female's instinct will be still to protect the area around the shell. And around the four to five day mark is when she'll start to attack the fry from that territory. Her, her instinct is that strong to protect the area around the shell, uh, that, that she'll start to do that because that's what she did last time. So that's all good. At that point, I'll catch her out and put her in the tank with the other black calvus. And hopefully everything will be good there. Sorry about the reflections, guys. But anyway, what I also want to show you guys is on the other sides of the tank we've got the second uh, breeding pair of Lelipi with their two spawns of fry and I've got my Lampelagos Ocelatus Gold and Ventralis Tritika fry on the other side. Now when I put her in obviously she was getting stressed again because she could see the fish on the other, either, either sides of the tank. So what I've done I've inserted these plastic uh, bits of plastic. They're the right height. I've saved some um, pieces just for this very purpose. Uh, so um, if, if something, um, when I'm introducing fish that are a bit skittish uh, and I don't want to stress them out, I just slide these in and uh, 
it stops the fish being able to see each other. So now she's in a tank all by herself and uh, no, she can't see any of the other fish so she should be really chilled now. She should be able to calm down and not have to stress as much as she was in the other tank with the other cows. And also now that the very uh, aggressive female is out of this tank, these guys will be able to settle down as well. Anyway, so there we go. I guess I'll be seeing fry, free swimming fry coming out of that shell in about a week, uh, probably two weeks. So um, I'm not feeding the, the fry at the moment because they've obviously got their yolk sac still and uh, they pretty much live off that uh, until it's completely absorbed. So there you have it guys, my black Alto Lamprologus calvus spawning again so quickly after putting them in their proper aquarium. I really hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.